Buying the wrong gear could set you back thousands of dollars. That is hundreds of thousands of shillings and stall you for years before recovering. These five detailed tips will arm you with the knowledge on how to make an informed decision and build a gear kit that's perfectly suited for your needs. Number one is you need to define your purposes and goals. Kicking off with the foundation, you must define your photography purpose and the goals. Do you enjoy capturing breathtaking landscapes or are you more drawn to intimate portraits? Knowing your focus will guide your gear choice, ensuring every piece serves the purpose in your creative journey. The reason is different types of gear will work better in specific genres of photography. An example is lenses. You will need specific lenses as a landscape photographer, which are different from a portrait or editorial photographer. This is why you must define your goal and choose your genre as early as you can to invest on the right gear. Number two is you need to budget wisely. It's time to talk about finances. Now set a realistic budget. Quality gear comes in various price ranges. Determine what you can afford and comfortably invest without compromising your overall financial stability. It's good to know that you are a starting business. When it comes to business, return on investment has always to be on your mind. Gear presents themselves in different levels of affordability. For example, in the Sony ecosystem, they are G Master lenses and they are the top of the line. However, there are other good lenses for Sony from other brands like Sigma or Tamron and they are more affordable. The same case with Canon cameras and Nikon cameras. So know how much you are willing to invest in particular piece of gear. If you are starting out, I recommend the following. Don't buy the newest model of gear because they will be expensive. Buy gear that is three years older, which works really well, but is also affordable. Now, the other one, you can get good pre-owned or second-hand equipment and buy them. They will be a fraction of the price and serve you for a long time. Just make sure that its quality is not damaged. Number three is invest in essentials gear first. Be begin with a solid camera body, a versatile lens, and essential support equipment like tripods. Build your toolkit gradually, adding specialized gear as your skill and need evolves. I know the temptation to buy these fancy gear like sliders, gimbals, drones, and so on. They make you look good, but I say they are not essential. Start with what is needed to start work and get paid. What will make you buy the fancy gear is you earning money and adding to your list. In fact, by that time, your fancy gear will be needed to your business to add value and charge more money. But for now, start with the essentials. Tip number four is compatibility is paramount. Ensure the gear you are eyeing is compatible with your existing equipment. Lenses, filters, and accessories should seamlessly integrate to avoid unnecessary hassles. This is such an important thing to consider when buying gear. Make sure that you spend on gear compatible with your current set or else it will be useless, totally useless to you. Another way to look at it is this. What do your friends and colleagues own? If the colleagues that give you a lot of work have a certain type of gear, I recommend you consider the same because they will be creating an ecosystem where you can borrow one another or share. This will make you even not buy some gear in a hurry or under pressure because you have access to them. If you are a freelancer, consider buying gear that your contractors recommend so that you can be relevant. For example, most of my friends and colleagues own Sony cameras. The reason why I invest in Sony is because I am relevant to the work they do and the equipment they have. Last but certainly not least, avoid impulse buying. Don't fall for flashy marketing and aggressive sales tactics. Take your time to evaluate if a new piece of gear genuinely enhances your photography experience. Now, do not have what we call gas uh, syndrome, which is the gear acquisition syndrome that affects all creatives. Don't allow the gear acquisition syndrome to lead you into buying gear that you don't need at the moment. Be objective while buying and ask yourself questions. Think like an entrepreneur because you spend your hard-earned money on gear that will only collect dust in your shelf. That is all the five points we have to give. And we have more, almost 10 points, but they are available in our photography masterclass. If you want to learn more about this and how to buy gear, the gear that you should buy, make sure that you use the link in the description below to look at our photography 101 course to qualify and to re-prioritize quality over quantity to invest your gear. And until next time, make sure that you click on this video to learn more about the business of photography. See you in this video.